everyone, this is the Astro Report for the week of April 16th to the 22nd of 2018. Um, if you would like your own Astro Chart, you can click on the links below to my Etsy shop. Uh, otherwise, let's get started with what's going on this week. So, a few headlines this week. We have um, a couple of planets changing signs, as well as a couple of planets going retrograde this week. So, busy week. Uh, the first is that we have the Sun moving into the sign of Taurus at 10.13 p.m. Central Time. All times are in Central, so please, please adjust for your location on Thursday, April 19th. So we should go shift from fiery Aries energy into Taurus energy, which is slower and steadier and calmer and a little more stable. So kind of a relief for some signs. Other signs might be feel frustrated by the slowdown in energy. But um, yes, we are moving into Taurus season. Then we also have um, Chiron moving into the sign of Aries on Wednesday, April 18th. Now, Chiron is a planet, uh, it's actually an asteroid rather than a planet, it's part of the asteroid belt. Uh, it's the wounded healer and it's getting more attention than it used to get. It's become quite popular to just to put it in charts along with, um, along with the other planets. But it's moving to the sign of Aries, something that I'm trying to remember offhand how many years it takes to change signs, but it is hasn't been in Aries since I was a baby. So I think it's like, let's see, there's 12 signs zodiac, and I won't get there till I'm about 50. So about four years it spends in each sign, roughly. Um, so we're moving from Pisces energy into Aries energy for the sign of Chiron, which is very exciting. Um, so Chiron is the wounded healer and it's been spending time in Pisces, which is really about healing through spirituality, through art, through mysticism. And now it's moving to Aries, which means it's time to take action instead of just talking about, um, he, you know, healing and, and, um, doing things for ourselves or just spiritually doing things we need to take action in the world. Um, it's a lot about fighting for, uh, the rights of people that have been wounded, um, but it also means that we might be more actively uh, trying to, you know, like we might actively be wounded in some ways. Um, you know, that's is Aries is a very kind of fiery, sharp energy. And um, so it's interesting to see how that's going to play out. But it's also the warrior. So spiritual warriors are definitely um, the sign of Chiron in Aries. So, you know, kind of taking no crap and calling people bullshit, so to speak. So it is, um, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting to see over the next four years how that energy is going to play out. But we've got that shift going on this week, and that happens on Wednesday, April 18th. Um, that's the asteroid shift signs. We also have uh, some of the slower planets going into retrograde. We have Saturn going into retrograde at 8.47 p.m. Central on Tuesday, April 17th, and Pluto in Capricorn going into retrograde at 10.26 a.m. on Sunday, April 22nd. So Saturn is the planet of boundaries, restrictions, also hard work. And so all the hard work that we've been doing, particularly since December, since um, the since Saturn moved in sign of Capricorn, we'll be kind of going over again and looking at and re-looking at and seeing where we might have to readjust things. There may be kind of the stepping back of certain boundaries, certain things, certain rules may be um, sort of step down, like sort of, I don't, what's the word I'm looking for, where they take it back and they sort of, the, the pressure gets taken off. Um, there's less restrictions. So that's one of the things with Saturn in retrograde is that there's less restrictions on us, but it's also asking us to relook at some of the rules we've made or some of the structures we've made recently to see if that really works for us or if it's something that doesn't and do we need to rework it. Pluto now goes into retrograde as well. And Pluto is a sign of, it's the planet of death and transformation. So we're re-looking at what we've kind of let go of uh, since I think like the fall moving forward, what we've let go of, what we might need to re-examine, uh, what we might need to um, to change and transform. So whenever a planet goes into retrograde, it's going back over a certain period of time. So it's saying, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at all these things and see what we really we really want to do about this. Maybe we jump the gun too fast, or maybe we made changes that don't really work for us anymore. So it's asking us to examine those kind of things. So those are the big things going on. Uh, we'll get into the day today now. Um, the moon starts at in you know, a void at 12.59 a.m. on Monday, and then moves very early uh, at 3.51 a.m. central into the sign of Taurus. So it's there 
most it's there all Monday during the day and then most of the day on Tuesday. So Monday, Tuesday are days to get things done, especially if we're looking working on long-term projects. It asks us to be slow and steady. It's also a good day for enjoying yourself with like food and going out in nature. If you can get outside on those days, it's really good to do that. Um, on Monday as well, we have, um, let's see, we have Saturn squaring um, Athena Monday and Tuesday. So we're asked to examine some of the rules and structures that we've made to re-strategize them to think, is this really working? So it's kind of a precursor to the uh, first Saturn going into retrograde because Athena is about strategy. So look at where Saturn is in your chart and say, hmm, what's the strategy? What, what am I going to do about this? What are my thoughts about this particular area and how I want to work with it right now? Um, anything else for Monday? Nope. Then Tuesday, like I said, the moon is in Taurus and then goes into a void at 5.05 p.m. So get your stuff during, done during the day. Uh, evening is more of a relaxing time. Tuesday, we have Venus opposite Jupiter and also um, trine uh, Pluto on that day. So there's a sense of tension between um, we want to expand and do new things and do all this stuff, especially if we are looking at doing anything that has to do with beauty or art. So whether it's beautifying ourselves or our homes or um, anything to do with art, we want to do all this stuff. We have all these big ideas, but there's stuff that's blocking us from getting it done. We do have a trine with Pluto, so there's an opportunity here for us to transform the way we're doing things and think how, again, there's a lot of themes of how can I do this better? What's not working for me? What do I need to let go of? What, well, how can I change the way that I'm doing things? So it's asking us to do that in that area of um, beauty and art, also in romance as well. We may have to make some changes, but the opportunity is there. So it's not saying it's a bad thing. It's just saying that we need to change things up a little bit in those areas. Um, I think that's it for Tuesday. Oh, and then we also have Saturn on that day moving into the retrograde um, form at that time. Then on Wednesday, the moon moves into Gemini at 7.02 a.m. So it's there on Wednesday and Thursday. So those are busy days, lots of activity going on, um, lots of meetings, lots of talking to people. So Tuesdays, the days to get Monday, Tuesday, get projects done. Wednesday, Thursdays are good days for meeting and socializing and visiting with people. On Wednesday, we also have the moon conjunct Uranus, so there might be some surprising information that's out there. Somebody may surprise you in some way, hopefully in a good way, but something may shock you, or you'll be like, wow, I didn't know that. That's really unusual, and it will make you look at yourself a little bit differently or re-examine things somewhat. Then on, um, yeah, and Chiron that day moves into um, Aries as well, so kind of a day of changes on Wednesday. Thursday moon remains in Gemini. As I was saying, we have the moon, the sun also moving into Taurus at that time. So things start to slow down overall. We're still moving forward. It's just, we're looking more at the long haul right now. Um, and then on Friday, uh, the moon has a void at 7.05 a.m. and moves into Cancer at 9.26 a.m. So the moon moves into Cancer Friday and stays there all Saturday. So those are good days to stay at home, nurture yourself, nurture your loved ones, do smart. It's a good day for imagination, that kind of thing on Friday, Saturday. And then on um, Sunday, we have... Um, the moon is void at 9.58 a.m. and moves into Leo at 12.09 p.m. So Sunday morning is kind of quiet time and then afternoon and evening, that's a good time to get out, do something fun, um, be a star, perform, do a speech, whatever. If you have to get on stage in any way or be in front of others or put on a party, that's a good time to do it on Sunday. And I don't have any other aspects really going on on the Sunday as well. So Pluto moves into retrograde on that day. So that's what the week looks like overall. If you have any questions at all, uh, put them in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the comments and everything. Um, it's been really fun doing these things. I'm, um, this is like a relatively new thing for me. I think I started doing it a few months ago and, um, let me know if you like this format, if you want to hear more, I'm kind of curious. So let me know. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye.